Welcome back, my friends. It is uh, time for us to check in with our cosmetic chemist. Ginger King is with us this morning. Uh, we're talking about creams and, and the things that we love to put on our skins, Ginger. We love a good facial cream. But it's more than, than just a, a recipe, so to speak. You said this is a formula. Yes, uh -huh. for starters, we don't call it a recipe because yeah. we are not chefs. Right. It's very different than just kitchen cooking. So I would like to share with you how we actually make a cream. I would love to so, see this. Yeah, so for starters, you know how um, we have different formulas. We use start with water, right. but it's not just your tap water. We use DI water. And every single ingredient we have, we specify the suppliers we use. And we also know like water and oil, when you mix them together, they don't really mix together. You will see all the oils float on the top. Floating on the top, So yeah. we must use the emulsifier uh, to make them like a cream. So I actually have a, like a video clip to show how it's made in the lab just okay. because right now on zoom it's harder to show so if you can play the clip so right there what i was showing is when you heat the water face and the oil face mm -hmm. both to 80 degrees celsius and then you mix them together and then uh, after it makes until it's uniform and then you cool it down to 40 degrees celsius then you will add the active ingredients. The active ingredients are what you want as a consumer, that you want skin brightening, you want pore reduction, you want uh, anti-wrinkle. Right. That's are all the goodies we put in there. Oh. And then we put preservatives in there because you don't want your creams to be spoiled. Right. So that's basically how it's done. So if you notice, we never say a tablespoon of this, a teaspoon of that, right? right? It's, everything is met done by percentage. The, in percentage, the formula, okay. everything needs to add up to 100%. And then we would do uh, check the pH and the viscosity to make sure the product can last for at least two years. So it will not separate on the shelf. And here is a finished product. It's a cream, as simple as that. It's but simple. it's not as simple as just cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, I was going to say, you say as simple as that because you're a chemist. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely makes a huge difference when you're trying to put these things together. So, Ginger, this is one of the reasons why you, you say, you know, a lot of times people have great ideas for products that they would like to produce themselves and, you know, maybe put on the market and things like that. But it's so important to contact a chemist and actually have the, the ingredients and the, um, the accuracy of the amount of each ingredient in those products. Absolutely, because cosmetic chemists know regulations. Yeah. You know, you may not know regulations, and also you don't have the best ingredients available to you due to liability reasons. The raw material companies will not send to, like, you know, anyone in the world. Right. They only send to chemists. Oh, my goodness. I love knowing a cosmetic chemist. This is amazing. Ginger, thank you so much for that and that, that uh, example in the lab. I love seeing you in the lab. <laughs> it was so much fun. All right, if you want to contact uh, Ginger King, uh, we've got all of her socials up on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you. All right, guys, back over to you. That was cool to right? see. All the science behind it, that was really neat. <laughs>